Did you ever do it? Did you ever do any cooking for your si- cooking? Did you Just ever cook? Play. You you cooked a, a pig. Oh yeah. Right across the street over there. Oh yeah. Yes 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 yes. Barbecued. Barbecued that thing. It was pretty good, wasn't it? In a big old hole. <laughs> oh, that's right. He's he weird. yeah. He's told you about that. Yeah. Digging a big old pit we and burying that thing. Fed a thousand people. Right down here at the campus of. Out in front of the museum, dug a long hole, Thousands about uh, 150 feet long, about uh, four feet deep and four feet wide. You fill that with hard wood. So we used uh, hedge posts, which farmers had taken out, including Uncle Melvin. He was helper. Uh, you know, a little, little, little too small, and they get crooked. And yeah. You take those out and put in bigger ones, and we fill that full of old hedge, hedge posts. Started the fire at uh, midnight, and uh, let it burn till all that that wood is burned down to about coals about that deep of red hot coals, and. Uh, you don't have to do it on this long scale, but we wanted to feed a thousand people at Bethel's Bethel College's Fall Fest. We were we were in charge of furnishing all the meat. Do you remember what year that was? We did it several years. Uh, I've got a st- big story of it in a paper down there. Yeah. Written by Wichita. Yeah. How many pigs did you guys? Um, they weren't pigs. They were. This was beef. Oh, beef. And what I was, was by old cow beef. It was a dry area then, and and old cows would get thin, you know, and they'd take them to. The, they'd be healthy, but uh, just no fat. Yeah. Because the pasture all dried up, so you could buy them for a little bit of nothing. I thought. Bought old cows and took them to the butcher and had him cut them up and put it. We took this meat, put it in eight pound sacks, gunny sacks, wet gunny sacks, gunny sacks that you would wet in approximately eight pound packages of beef and put that on those coals as they, as the flames were all gone. And John, John Clausen has this recipe. We hmm. gave it to him. He's made it too, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Need me. Does he use beef? You can use anything you want. Yeah. Yeah. These were the times were a little tougher then, and we could feed a thousand people with practically a little nothing. Yeah. Um, and delicious. It just comes out <laughs> because the rub. Oh, do you have the recipe, Mary? No, I don't. You ought to get it. You ought to get it. I get you. You got the young. boys. Yeah, they they would do it too. <laughs> you got the boys. I'm not kidding. You got to get that recipe from Val from Val Clas- Clausen. Okay, doke. And, uh, <laughs> and you listen as I tell you. Uh, you don't have to have long. It, we need a long place for that wood because we had a thousand people to feed. And, uh, but one time we just fed, had a family reunion. By family, I mean all the rich and Clausens and whatnot, you know. Fifty. Out at the farm, maybe you were there. Yeah. I don't remember. In the garden, you remember when we dug a hole about this big, square, and four or five feet deep, and and had it all ready, and we're going to put the fire out, and then next morning there was this, when we got looked down, oh no, the day before we looked down in there and there was a skunk in that hole, down in the bottom. <laughs> oh, <for> yeah, <laughs> where we need to put the fire. So I put a tuba six down, angled it down there, and sure enough, he walked down. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we went ahead and filled that full of, yeah. full of posts and uh, burned it down. And I don't remember who all was there. Eldon, I'm sure. And yeah. And everybody, it's a lot of fun. It's not like a messy work, and it is messy, but... (laughs) And I don't remember what we used then, pork or 
or beef, but anything, any kind of meat you want to put in. But it takes the it takes the driest old meat, just make sure it's good. But driest old meat, and it'll just come out tasting good because there's cumin. Cumin. Cumin, yes. Cumin, in like you use for chili, or yeah, it's like cumin, yeah, and mustard and pepper, yeah, and I don't know what else in this recipe. And you rub that on the meat. Each pound, eight pound of meat. Rub that both sides real good. You put it in and uh, cover it, and put it on this bed of red hot coal quickly as you can, and you cover it again with some cover. We used to use what they called grain doors, which came from box cars on the on the railroad. Don't eat it, huh? And you put those on as quickly as you can. You gotta have a lot of help, and then seal that down. And if you watch it, make sure there's no place where steams come. But yeah. dirt, you mm. put dirt on top of the doors. Put dirt on a little bit, as yeah. you see where it might be leaking yeah. under plastic. Mm. Plastic on top of the one inch cover, the cover doors, rain doors. Huh. Take it out then, after you've prayed for about 10, 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the backup plan? They ain't none. <laughs> no backup plan. It always, it turn always out. works. It always works. It did, yeah. Good. Wow. Okay. Where'd you learn to do that? Oh, that's interesting too. We did it back on the farm for some helped some friends and they got old and when when they got old they gave the recipe to us ah. yeah huh gosh i hadn't thought of that gosh i hadn't thought